Hi, everyone. Quick survey. How many entrepreneurs, people working for startups in the audience here? Wow, everybody else is a VC. Great, or something else. Great to meet everyone here. We all love to talk about success. Maybe you like to hear about success a little less, I don't know. And talking about failure is in vogue, but I find it often not that helpful if uh, we don't get specific. So I thought I'd just share a few lessons learned from failure uh, over the last several startups. Uh, talk a little bit about background, these lessons learned, and what I think uh, is going to be the mo one of the most important skills for entrepreneurs uh, to refine and develop. Uh, background, I think, you know, I've, uh, like many of you, started and sold a number of companies over the years. Uh, born in Vietnam, live there now. Uh, my uh, most recent company was a company called Misfit Wearables. We made wearable technology that was beautiful. That was what our focus was on. Uh, look, making technology beautiful or invisible. Uh, we were acquired by Fossil Group uh, uh, three years ago, and uh, I left. Uh, it's really a fashion group brand. And uh, since then, since leaving about a year ago, I've uh, been investing in and uh, advising deep tech startups, uh, focused mostly on uh, climate change reversal. So um, that's what, I guess, pays the bills these days. But. Uh, I wanted to talk a bit about these lessons because over these several startups, uh, I've really, I feel like um, I've personally had a chance to learn a lot. So I'm going to go rapid fire through this, uh, if you don't mind, uh, and try to be as specific as possible. Uh, hiring, you know, we all have to do that. And uh, I, you know, over the, in the very first startup, uh, one of the things I learned was it wasn't just about hiring for really smart people, IQ, IQ, IQ brain teasers, it was really about getting people with great skills. Um, hiring for strength instead of, uh, of lack of weaknesses, uh, something that took a while for me to figure out. And, um, and uh, I, I found out that this is something that's really held up uh, over the years. Um, and, and, you know, and after learning these things, I, I felt, OK, let's just hire people with lots of experience. And, I, and I, um, that didn't always actually work out well. And uh, what I've learned is that it's really about trying to hire people with great wisdom. How do you interview for wisdom in an interview uh, in a, you know, when you're uh, considering a candidate? That's uh, not the easiest thing. I, th I find that it's uh, most useful to really work with someone, even if it's like for a week. Uh, a lot of this comes out. And finally, uh, at Misfit, one of the most important things we, uh, I learned there, it sounds a little trite, but it's very true, cultural fit above all, making sure that teams are cohesive and uh, that they bond well, that they look after each other. And um, yeah, so these are the things that I've learned about hiring. I'm sure uh, you uh, may have uh, felt the same way in, in your own journeys. Um, and at, at the end of the day, you know, it's about uh, the, the, the sell to great candidates, to great recruits, is um, the fact that you, in a startup, you get one of the great benefits is you get to do things that you're not qualified for, like what this kid's getting to do. How cool is that, you know? When I was eight, I never had a chance to drive a, uh, whatever, a, a, a bulldozer like that. And speaking of hiring, uh, and we talk about culture and whatnot, uh, it, a lot of it comes down to values. I think we uh, talk about this a lot, and, um, but I also find that a lot of the discussion can be very watered down, very diluted, because uh, a lot of the values that uh, we see out there a lot of times on the posters, you know, in, in offices and whatnot, I find are very, uh, they're not specific enough. Uh, what I found is that having values that uh, can actually help drive decisions, that can uh, be very cutting, uh, and oftentimes, some of these values can be kind of controversial, but it very clearly defines who you are. It defines who you are not. Uh, pretty important at Misfit. Uh, we had our set of values be a misfit, that is, do things that are different. We often asked ourselves, is that a misfit thing to do? And that really became a thing. Uh, doing more with less and be a servant leader. Leaders are servers first uh, in, in, in what we did. But I would just encourage you to really think for yourself. You know, it's, this is, uh, it's about having values that res that, that's important for you and that you have conviction around, that your initial team has conviction around, and that you're going to stand by. 
and values are things that can change over time that you'll add and augment to. I suggest keeping it few instead of having you know, 10. I've seen companies with 10 company values, and I just find that very hard to, um, uh, to remember. Uh, one of my favorite companies that uh, has a really cool uh, vision and mission statement, very clear set of values, is a company called V. And uh, they make a really cool uh, hearable, uh, an AI fitness coach. Um, and so the product is really cool. Uh, but they, what they do is, uh, but what a simple vision. We exist to help people reach their full potential in body and mind. You know, uh, very clear statement there. And uh, very cool product. The, uh, now, so you've got your team, you've got your values, now we've got to lead the team. You know, we talk about leadership a lot as well. And again, uh, how to be very specific about things. And I'll just share with you three things that I've learned over the years. Having conviction is very important. Uh, strong opinions. But I found that uh, some of the best people that we've had are people who have conviction, but are able to change their minds. That when they're wrong, they say, yep, I'm wrong. They admit it, and they move on, and it's not a big deal. Uh, I find that uh, um, exceedingly rare, actually. Uh, but uh, when you have folks like that on your team, it's, it's, just, it's just wonderful. It's a, a great uh, quote by Groucho Marx here. And along the lines of servant leadership, which I think is very important, um, you know, at the end of the day, as the founder, as a CEO, as a senior team member of your startup, um, you're, you're serving your team members. That's your role. Uh, that's what you're day, doing day in, day out. So eat last, fly coach, keep that mindset for a long time. Uh, we were uh, well-funded for years, and we, uh, yeah, we always uh, ask this of our leaders. And uh, finally, uh, stand up for what you believe in. Having strong convictions, being able to change, that's good. But standing for what you believe in, even in the face of, uh, of a lot of opposition, it's very important. And, I'll and um, there's a great quote that I learned from a, a mentor that uh, I think summarizes why this is important. It's because the regret that comes from doing something that you shouldn't have um, is often temporary. But the regret that comes from not doing something you should have is inconsolable. You know, how true is that? Uh, I think it's one of these lessons that, uh, once again, took me uh, several startups to learn, but, you know, learning is uh, half the battle, right? So have strong opinions, loosely held, eat last, fly coach, serve your teams, and stand up for what you believe in. And finally, uh, execution. Uh, you can have great team, great values, great amazing leadership, but if execution is not at the core of what you're doing, if building a company is not what's important to you versus uh, building a product, then uh, it's gonna be a hard road. So build a business, not just a product. Um, and uh, if you're in building a business, be lean. Um, who here has read the, the Lean Startup? I feel like it's like standard, uh, well, yeah, it's, it's a great book. Uh, if you haven't read it, the quick summary, the 15 second summary is this. It's about always getting user feedback. It's about knowing when to pivot, change your business model in some way or your product in some way. And it's about maximizing the number of pivots by minimizing the cost of experimentation. So that's it. That's the summary of uh, uh, being lean for the most part. And so uh, the core part of execution, uh, building a business, not just a product. As a CEO, that's what you're focused on. It really is anyone in the, in the core team, that's what it's about. And be lean as you do this. Uh, and whether you are a SaaS software company or a deep tech company working on biotechnology or something, uh, everybody, every company I find has a lean playbook that uh, is accessible to them. One of my favorite companies that's super lean, a company called Sensibo. I'm gonna give, I actually brought one of mine, one of these products, it's one of my favorite products. They are shipped, they shipped over nearly 100,000 units, uh, built the hardware, the cloud, the app, just an amazing product. And what it is, is it's a controller for your air conditioning unit. It makes your, these uh, remote control air conditioning units um, wi uh, Wi-Fi controlled. And that's the, t and you think, you know, they're, they're doing millions of dollars in revenue, you think massive team, right? That's the team. Two people. Uh, they've hired two more since then. 
but uh, it's just an unbelievably lean team that has really learned how to get to product market fit. Um, and so um, I thought in the last few minutes, I would just wrap up with one uh, final point. And that is around what I think is the most important skill for entrepreneurs. So what do you think is the most important skill? Um, I mean, this is largely opinion, I suppose, but uh, for me, it's uh, born out of my experience out of these few startups. Any, any takers? I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm to give a sensible unit to whoever, uh, whoever gets it right, which is uh, whoever agrees with me. Learning. That's a great one. That's your, the best skill. That, that's a pretty important skill. Someone here? Yep. I'm sorry? Grit. Having grit, being able to survive, being the cockroach, and never and surviving to fight another day, a very important skill, yes, indeed. Passion, passion. having passion, having that conviction to uh, go against, you know, uh, common wisdom, very important. Uh, anyone out here? Yep. The ability to adjust, to adapt, also incredibly important. I'm sorry? Empathy, mm, that's a good one, empathy. You know, all of these things are really important, right? But remember, we're about building a business here. So, I'm sorry? Listening, okay. Listening, I think you could probably build a business through listening. Profit, who said that? Oh man. That's right. We can build products, maybe not throw things. Sales. The stereotype is this, right? It's not what I'm talking about. You do have to sell the customers, you know, move product and get uh, profit, right? Very important. But you're also trying to convince people to join you for half the salary that they would normally make, right? You're trying to get investors to give you money when they probably should be investing in something a lot ri less risky, right? You're trying to get partners, you get your wall of logos, you know? companies to work with you when they probably shouldn't work with you because you might be running out of money in about three to six months. And of course, the media, you're trying to get TechCrunch to write about you when there's really not a whole lot to write about, but you just need the press so that you can get customers. And um, so these are all, all incredibly important. And that's what you're doing really as a founder, as a leadership team day in and day out, is you're, you're selling these different constituents to an extent. So that, that is an incredibly important uh, role. And just to leave you with a few tips on the sales thing, it's not a talk about sales, but um, I would just leave it to a few things. First is doing your homework. You gotta know what you're, uh, who you're talking to, what they're interested in, what stories will resonate with them. And then once you've done your homework, then it's about telling those stories. It's about, you know, if you're trying to get uh, someone to write about you, it's about, making sure that you do a lot of that work for them. And uh, if you're trying to convince someone to part with their money, or in some ways their reputation, because they're gonna write about you or support you in some way, it's about focusing on amazing value. That's, there's no qualms about it. People often ask, what's the secret to sales? It's about amazing value. Um, and finally, it's about showing up. And as a, a great, uh, a wise man once said, showing up is 80% of life, right? So that's it. Do your homework, tell us, so build a business, sales is what you're doing, and to do so, do your homework, tell stories that resonate, focus on exceptional value, and show up. Thank you so much for your time.